Well, the, the number of motorcyclists who are injured each year around the world is increasing as motorcycling becomes more popular. And although there's a lot of motorcycle protective clothing available in the market, it's never really systematically been tested to find out whether it does protect people from injuries in, in real world crashes. The GEAR study was a, um, a research project to investigate whether protective clothing really does make a difference. What we did was we attempted to contact every rider who had a crash in the Australian Capital Territory over 12 months, whether they were riding a scooter or a motorcycle, whether they were injured or not, to see what they were wearing and whether or not they were injured. What we did was we, in order to get injured and uninjured riders, we went to the emergency departments of the hospitals and then we also went to the motorcycle crash repairers because if the rider wasn't injured in the crash, the motorcycle probably was damaged. And that way we got a, a representative sample of injured and uninjured riders. The study ran over 12 months and that was because we wanted to cover all weather conditions. Riders wear different clothing at different times of the year, so a full 12 months was necessary to get the full range of gear. We also took into account other factors can, that might affect the severity of an injury. So that's like what people hit in the crash or how fast, you know, what speed they were going at, the age of the rider, things that make a difference to how se severely people can be injured. Riders who are wearing motorcycle clothing were less likely to be admitted to hospital. Motorcyclists who were wearing protective clothing that was fitted with body armour were less likely to have any injuries at all to that part of the body. So for example, a rider who was wearing a motorcycle jacket that had body armour, compared to a rider who wasn't wearing a motorcycle jacket, the rider with the jacket was 23% less likely to have any injuries and 63% less likely to have open wounds. That's cuts, lacerations or abrasion injuries. And those people wearing gloves, if they're wearing gloves fitted with body armour, they were 45% less likely to have any injuries and 73% less likely to have any open wound injuries. Riders who were wearing motorcycle pants with impact protectors on the knees were 39% less likely to have any injuries and 91% less likely to have open wounds to their legs. The situation with boots was a little different. People wearing motorcycle boots were 45% less likely to have any injuries to their feet or ankles. But the interesting thing here was that people wearing any sort of boot, motorcycle boots or just any sort of boot, were 53% less likely to have any injuries compared with people wearing joggers or, or sports shoes or, or any sort of shoe. This is all pretty good news, but we also found that one in four of the jackets, pants and gloves worn in these crashes failed under crash conditions. That's pretty concerning. Now, this doesn't mean that riders were injured as a result of those failures, but it does mean that we do have to do something about quality control. No, my answer is no, I don't think that's the way to go. Um, there's, there's a lot of difficulties. The, the main one is that you can't define what motorcycle protective clothing actually is. There's a lot of motorcycle clothing available in the market. Some of it is just fashion and some of it is protective. But just by looking at it, you can't tell. There's no global standards. So for enforcement purposes, the police would, it would be an impossible situation for the police to try to enforce wearing of, of, of protective clothing. A better way to go uh, is to use consumer law, com consumer protection law. Uh, that's the way it's going in North America and Europe. We're looking at general protection um, legislation so that what's required is it's the onus is on the industry to ensure that the products they sell are fit for purpose. So I think if we go that way and we work on providing incentives to riders, so insurance premiums, health insurance premiums, incentives to wear gear, 
and also if we work with industry both to improve the quality of the products that are available and to help riders make more informed choices when they do buy and wear gear. Protect your whole body, wear body armour, wear boots not shoes and ride safely.